Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify a radical expression using the quotient property. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, simplify the square root of 27m to the third power over 196. Well, normally I kind of see if I can simplify anything on the inside, and nothing really pops out to me here. There's a few things I notice that, well, 196 is a perfect square, being 14. And so, from there, I want to see if I can separate the numerator and denominator first. So let's go do that. We have the square root of 196 in the denominator, and the square root of 27m to the third power. Now, like I said, the denominator here, square root of 196 is a 14, makes it pretty easy, but I want to separate the numerator up as well. So 14 here, and we have the square root of 27 and m to the third power. Well, the m's are easy to separate this into two groups of multiplication, because we have, well, m squared, and then we have an m, right? We know we can take the square root of an m squared and it cancels out. What about 27? Well, 9 is a perfect square, and 9 times 3 is a 27. Let's put a 3 there. Our rules tell us here that now we can separate this out to be two different square roots. We have the square root of 9m squared times the square root of 3m all over that 14. From here, well, being 9 a perfect square and m squared a perfect square, we have a 3m left over in the numerator up here times a square root of 3m over a 14. And there's nothing else that we really can do to simplify this. And so we're left with, and final answer here, of 3m times the square root of 3m over a 14. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to simplify a radical expression using the quotient property. And if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, Thanks for watching.